When I was very young, I became glamorized and enticed and enamored with the entertainment industry like much young people in the United States of America. At first, I wanted to be a singer. Very soon after, I found out that I could not carry a note to save my life and that choreographed dance is not for me. Well, can't do this, but I still want to work in entertainment. What am I good at? And how could that be of use in the entertainment industry? I'm really good at reading. I had been good at writing and I thought that that was going to help me, but once you get to law school, you find out that all the different ways that you learn to write before you get to law school, uh, it's not good writing for legal writing. I hyper fixate on details, constantly trying to plan 10 steps ahead. I'm trying to figure out, okay, in the future, how could this come back to bite you if you don't plan something correctly? I was like, hmm, this sounds like what a lawyer could do. I was like, all right, I could be behind the scenes. I can be, you know, not in front of the camera. Believe it or not, being in front of the camera is unnerving for me. So even though I'm doing it now and I may seem like I am comfortable, inside I am screaming. <laughs> Well, my name is Isaro. This is the Carter Firm Media. I am the founder and principal attorney of the Carter Firm. I help creators, entertainers, small business owners secure their intellectual property rights, ensure that their contracts are negotiated well, that they have fair deal points, and that they understand what it is that they are contracting for. This is gonna be a little get to know me, get to know the lawyer, all of this, all of that. Before we get into it, remember to like, to comment on this video and subscribe be nice okay there are multiple options of becoming a lawyer but the most common route is going to law school because the other option is like doing an apprenticeship that would be the equivalent of going to law school but i didn't know any lawyer i was like well damn i gotta go to law school to go to law school need to have an undergraduate great so i went to undergrad i got a bachelor's of science in applied psychology i went to uh, nyu steinhardt I felt that studying psychology would just help me with life in general and relating to people, understanding people more deeply, and honestly being able to relate to my clients in the future. I know that creatives, they see the world a little bit differently than most people. That's why they're able to convey their life and their experiences so beautifully. I wanted to be able to meet that and approach that um, with empathy and with language that could be well received. Also to understand how to work together so that their goals and their visions could be actualized. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> and I use applied psych program is really, really great. No matter what you eventually end up doing. It was in undergrad that I decided that I would go straight into law school. It was at this time where I was like, I'm very much over formalized education. And if I take a year to do anything else, I wouldn't go back to school because I knew that I was going to work in entertainment. I only applied to the schools that after my research had been consistently ranked as like the top um, entertainment law schools in the country. When I told my parents that I was going to law school, they were like, love it, love that for you. Very proud of you. Great, thank God, a lawyer as a child. Um, we're not gonna pay for it. I said, oh, okay. So I gotta get a full ride if I'm gonna be a lawyer. And thankfully I did. The school that I ended up going to gave me a full ride. It was Brooklyn Law School. Thank goodness, because they also were the only school um, who had this accelerated JD program where the course of study was designed to be completed in two whole years. To me, that was great. That was music to my ears because as I said, I was over it. I graduated and the literal next week I was in law school and I had done that, that two years around. And in that time, I had the great opportunity, of, you know, doing really amazing externships. I learned a lot from all of them. Some of them were great, but even the ones that were not so great taught me a lot about myself, who I could be as a person, who I could be as a lawyer, a better person and a better attorney for all of the experiences that I had. Also, what I appreciate um, were the mentors that I was able to meet and <laughs> get under the wing of. I had already had a mentor who um, I would eventually end up working for after law school, but there was another mentor. She had gone to Brooklyn Law as well and almost immediately after graduating opened up her own practice and it is a thriving practice now. I was like, oh, this sounds awesome. This sounds cool. So you're saying do it like after school, like you could just do it. And she was like, yeah, do it and go for it. And my other mentor who I had known before I got into law school, she also worked for herself. All of these women, these really, really awesome women have their own practices. And so of course going through my head is like, wait, 
I could just work for myself. So I was like, mm, okay, bookmarking that. You know, I was like, at some point, I'm going to take that plunge and it might be sooner than I had anticipated, which I thought like 10 years into my career was going to be the time where, you know, I started my own practice. But baby, after graduating law school in 2019, took that exam, found out in October that I had passed. We thank goodness because baby, I was not doing it again. You know, I was really able to celebrate that and have a great time. And then when I started work in December 2020, that was at Midwin Charles and Associates, that was a really, really great fit for me. And I was able to learn so, so much about what good lawyering looks like and what good client counsel looks like from her. I learned a lot about how to preserve your inner peace and how you have to fight for it, especially in the line of work that we did there, which was family law, criminal law. Honestly, best working time, like the best person I could have worked for. She was excellent, she was amazing. It was just that the content, like the subject matter of the work that we were doing was weighing very heavily on my soul. I, even though she gave me a lot of resources and a lot of help on figuring out how to separate yourself from the work and not get too emotionally enmeshed, I just wasn't good at it. Like I really care about clients. I care that these awful things are happening to them. I couldn't go home and be happy. Eventually, I just, I had to leave for myself. And that was really hard because I loved working with Midwin and I loved the firm and I loved everything about what we did. It just, I couldn't do it. And so when I told her, it's kind of like she already knew that that was coming and she kind of noticed that this wasn't for me, like emotionally. She was really, really supportive when I said, I think that I'm going to start my own firm. And I had said that because it was March, 2020. Our city had just locked down. Truthfully, like it felt like the world was at a standstill. So I was like, this looks like an opportunity to do what I said that I always wanted to do. So I should take it because I'm not sure that this would come around ever again. And she was very supportive. She sent me off with the reading material. She was like, you know, I'm always here. One of my mentors was like, great, good. <laughs> You said you wanted to do it and now you're doing it. So she was very, very enthused and very happy. By April, 2020, the foundations of the Carter firm were being built. We are still up and running to this day. And it is the best decision that I've ever made in my entire life. I get to use my strengths and my skills to leave the world a better place than how I found it. Love my clients, I love their work. I get to play a role in making their voices heard and making sure that their stories are told. And I'm so happy that I was willing to bet on myself that I would be competent enough to be able to help the people that I help. My firm is the favorite, my favorite way to spend my time and to spend my days. And so that's a little bit about me <laughs> and the Carter firm. If you have any questions about anything, any particular parts of my journey, you can put those questions in the comments. If you'd like a more in-depth video on like my law school experience, my undergrad experience, I'm more than happy to share the experience that I have garnered along the way um, in the hopes that it could help. So thank you so much again for watching and you have a great one. Bye.